Okay, so our last thing to do with the law of sines and cosines is another way to find area. This way it's called using Heron's formula. He was a Greek mathematician, and he used the law of cosines to find the formula for the area of a triangle using only its side length. So now we have area equals one half times the base times the height. Then we had the formula where we used a side angle side construction. Now we can find the, the area using only the three sides, okay? This involves what's called the semi-perimeter of the triangle. The semi-perimeter is the sum of the three sides divided by two, okay? So if we're trying to find the area of this triangle, the area is going to be the square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. So let's find S first. S would be 43 plus 53 plus 72 divided by 2, which I think would give you 84. So that means the semi-perimeter is 84. So this is 84 times 84 minus 43 times 84 minus 53 times 84 minus 72. Well, that would be 84 times 41 times 13 times 12, which is the square root of this gigantic number, 128,100. Oh, no, I guess it's 1,281,168. If you take the square root of that, you get it's 1,131.89 square units. Okay, so I don't even need to find any angles. If I have the three sides, I can use that formula to find the area. Okay, so like I said, we've now learned three different formulas to find the area of the triangle. Each has its own use depending on what information is given. So the standard formula is area equals one half times the base times the height. So I need the base and height to be able to do that one. Okay, an oblique triangle, <clears throat> the area is one half times AB sine of C. It has to be a side angle side triangle for that one to work, okay? And then Heron's formula, which we just said was S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C, that only works for side, side, side triangles. Okay, so depending on what you're given, you might be able to use a different formula. Some of them are easier than others, okay, which is sort of why there's different formulas depending on what the situation is, okay. Now, the tricky thing comes when I combine the law of sines with the law of cosines. So now they're gonna be all mixed together here. So we're gonna figure out, we're not actually solving these. We're just gonna decide if we're using the law of sines or the law of cosines, okay? So it might be helpful to draw a sketch. So I'm gonna sketch this one. So here's angle A, which is 15 degrees. Angle B is 58 degrees. And side C over here is 94, okay? so. Um, here's B. This is an angle side angle triangle. Okay, and just look at it. I don't have enough information to be able to use the law of cosines. Okay, because law of cosines means to know at least two of the sides. I only know one side here. Okay, so this is a perfect situation where I could use the law of sines because I could say um, <clears throat> I could find calculate this angle, and then I could say you know, sine of this angle over 94 equals sine 58 over B, for example, or sine 15 over A. So this is an angle side angle triangle, which is the law of sines. Okay, number two, draw that one. I'm kind of looking here. I'm just, I'm seeing this as angle side side. So I know right away, angle side side is going to be law of sines. Looks something like, how do I know that? Because I have two angles that match up any other side. So that means it's angle side side, which is the law of sines. And that would be where we might have zero, one or two answers. Okay, this one would be side, side, side. We just talked about that. We use law of cosines for that. Okay, and this one looks like, let's see here. Here's A, here's B, here's C, this is 49. This is a side angle side, and side angle side triangles are again, law of cosines. I have two sides, I know one of the angles, I could 
do b squared equals whatever. So this would be law of cosines. Okay, so you have a couple of problems for homework. They're gonna ask you <clears throat> which one you need to use and then actually solve it. So you're calculating first, figuring out first which one you're gonna be solving and then you're going to um, actually solve it, okay? So to work on those, we'll go over those. <clears throat>